All right, so even though Blue Land did not get a bad deal, if you guys don't remember, they uh, went on ahead and got a deal with Kevin O'Leary for the refillable household cleaner company that they have. They could have kept 100% of their royalties. They could have kept all of their equity, and I'm going to show you exactly how. And it would have only cost them like 5000 bucks. And you might not know where I'm going with this, so keep watching. Okay, so right now, as of now, their net worth... Uh, the company value, valuation was $13.5 million during a pitch. After Kevin O'Leary's transaction, the company is valued $9 million bucks Due to increase in company sales, net worth all, might also raise in 2021. So this is an older, uh, you know, update, but they don't have anything next. But they're supposedly making around uh, $6 million a year. So keep watching because I'm going to show you how they could have kept all of that equity. If you're a startup company and that's why you watch shark tank or something you're thinking about going on there don't do it yet okay maybe you can do it direct to consumer just like they were doing at the beginning they sold direct consumer two hundred thousand dollars on their own that's pretty impressive now i'm going to show you how they could have cornered the market just with like five thousand bucks so <clears throat> when you search refillable household cleaners which is what they are they want to save the world, stop all the plastic and everything. When you search for that on Google, you would expect them to be one of the top companies that show up on Google. But most of their publicity came from their Shark Tank deal. It would have been a simple press release or a little SEO campaign that could have got them right here. They need to be right here, either through Google Ads or SEO campaign. Now, the next step after positioning themselves to get more sales, okay? They, if they're going to be the top one in this market, they need to be positioned. I wouldn't have went on the show unless I was number one nationally for refillable household cleaners. It shows how serious you are about driving traffic to your site. Now, next, let me show you something. <clears throat> Let's close this out. We would have did something called uh, profit positioning, which is brand jacking. They need to be showing up for the names of all of their competitors. What do I mean by that? If they're really the top guys for re refillable household cleaners, they should be drowning out their competitors as well. Okay, so as you can see, Amazon is showing up for Lemon Shine. Amazon is showing up for Lemon Shine. PR Web is showing up for Lemon Shine. Walmart is showing up for Lemon Shine. So brand jacking is the art of having your brand show up when another person searches someone else's brand. So when a person searches for your competitor, your name comes up instead and you steal the customer. So this should be right here, Blue Land. You should see Blue Land all over the page when people search for Lemon Shine. Here's another one of their competitors, Splash Refills. Okay, so when a person would search Splash Refills, they should be showing up. Blue Land should be showing up right here instead of splash repeals, refills because they will be brand jacking, okay? So if you're new to the game of marketing, like I said, this is called brand jacking. It's something that we're pretty much coining. As you can see, Forbes is showing up for the name. So if these other sites, especially like Instagram and the LinkedIn could get on the first page for a clean cult's name, then Blue Land can show up right here and still the customers when people search for clean. Same thing with method cleaning products. So that's exactly how Blue Land could have all of their uh, royalties. They could have kept all of their equity, never even really had to go on the show. And if they did go on the show, they would have been in a position of power because they definitely wouldn't have needed it. Okay, so 